What are the things that you can see with an autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease? Think of the top three things. I'll give you three seconds. All right, I want you to know that you can see mitral valve prolapse as well as aortic regurgitation. So off the bat, you know there's cardiac defects. Number two, you wanna know that there are cysts everywhere. And so think of in your liver and your pancreas, you get hepatic cysts, pancreatic cysts. You can also get what I like to call cysts in the brain. So you can get cerebral aneurysm. So think of that as cysts in the brain. All right, number three, you wanna know that with these patients, you can get weakness of anywhere that there's connective tissue. So your abdominal wall, you can get ventral hernias and inguinal hernias. And then as a bonus tip, you can get, I think of cysts in the intestines as well. So you get diverticulosis. Okay, so cardiac defects, we've got mitral valve prolapse. We've got cysts everywhere for number two. And then number three, these patients, you need to know that they have weak abdominal walls. They get ventral hernias and inguinal hernias as well. And then as a bonus, we said diverticulosis, so cysts in the intestines.